All right, dudes and dudettes, today we are getting the best tool in the game. The best, like, harvester thing. Yes, the Paxel. I promise it's good! All right, dudes, so that's right. We are getting the all the modium alloy Paxel. That is what we're getting today. We're going to require a lot of source. So we should go collect it up at the other, come on, get in there, at the other base. Um, yeah, so we're gonna need quite a few of these and hopefully a memory that I can remember how I set it up. Um, yeah, so the reason why we want this is because it's the best. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna get it. <laughs> No other reason other than it's really good. Okay, so that's the pedestal, um, the imbuement chamber. This is gonna go here. Okay, so let's look up ours. Perfect. Pedestals here, enchanting apparatus. Is this the book? Gravity well, no. Okay, so for looking here, enchanting apparatus. Yeah, this is the guy we want. So I'm gonna put this guy over here, and I believe you put the ped it on the pedestals around it. I could be very mistaken on that. And then <clears throat> the volcanic source link, arcane pedestal, will make up some supremium coal hey yeah this is a premium coal block cool nope <laughs> mess that up i'll put him here and then we need a source jar where did the source jar go oh it's right here all right Yep, so that's filling up with source, very good. <clears throat> okay, so we got that kind of set up. We need to go ahead and make all of these guys as well. Um, this one's gonna take, yeah, we need all the essence. Um, yeah, we have, a, we have a lot of fire. Okay, so we have the 40 essence for all of those. Ah, we're gonna need to make a Supremium Paxel too. Okay. Yep, so I'm gonna go ahead and craft all of these guys up. It's gonna take a little bit of time, uh, but shouldn't take too long. Okay, so we're at the final stretch for these guys here. Uh, I did look into potentially, you know, making a Paxel and then upgrading it, but we would lose uh, the tools if we did that. So now we just combine all these together. Now we have a Supremium Paxel, which is a really good tool in of itself already. Um, but yeah, we need to make it even better. Um, so let's see, we have Mystical Agriculture. Here's some Awakened Supremium Essence. Um, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. All right, so we can make those guys. So let's... Uh, we need two of these. One, two, and then um, I think we're prosperity ingots. We need another one of these. All right, so now we go back to the old base and we're gonna make this an awakened supremium taxel. Uh, it's raining terrible. It's not as fun. Okay. So, it's a premium Paxel. We go a one, two, and then, yep, just like this. Fire, water, air, and earth. And there we go. It's making it up. All right. An awakened Supremium Paxel. Very cool. 
So I do believe this makes the last of that. Well, we can get rid of these. Okay. So, yeah, we have the Awakened Supreme Impactful. Now we need to surround it with each of these guys. So an axe, we create that with one, two, three. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve ingots. Okay. Pedestals and source. Okay, so we need a total of 12 around it. So four is not going to be nearly enough. We need to have it so 12 can be around there. Um, recipe nine. We need source stone. That's good. Oh. Ah. We need lapis. believe it's you yeah no it's using our source no I don't want it to do that we need that source So we got 15 more of these guys. Okay, so we need to fit 12 around here. If we give it a two block gap, I believe that will be enough. Actually, we can bring it in by one more. Perfect, okay, so we just gotta fill all of those in. Um, so for the axe, there is a, all the modium axe that goes in the middle, but we need to create, so it needs one of each of these guys, so. Wow, I did not realize we had that many Oh, so there. Are, when I go AFK at the farm, um, there are like boss blazes that spawn in that give us a bunch of this stuff. That's why we have it. Okay. Oh, wow. I thought we were running low on unobtainium, but we are not. Um, so I'm just grabbing one of each. I want to put those in and then we'll focus on one at a time. So we'll do you, you, and you. And it'll be a little off. We'll figure it out. Okay, so let's focus now on combining unobtainium and vibranium. So we need one, two, three of these, and one, two, three of these. And the way we combine them is, you can do them with power. So we're gonna use these guys here. Got two of these guys. Oh, need the other one. We're gonna grab the power cables. Um, at power, we need the little uh, orb, energizing orb. There we go. And then we need a flux point. Perfect. Okay. So. I guess. Um. Yeah, we'll just ding. We'll set it up here for because there's nowhere else to set it up very well. Oh, I have to center it. Okay, so this guy here, this guy here, energizing orb in the center. It doesn't like there's no power connection there. We put the flux point here. It's already set up. I want to bypass the limit. All right, so this should be good to go. Let's grab some piglet hearts. I don't 
right, so we go one, two, three. One billion FE to do this. Holy crap. This is going to require so much power. Oh, wowie. Oh my gosh. Um, how are you guys doing down here? So this is where our power is coming from. We don't... I would like to... Um, eventually build up a power, like, reserve down here somewhere. Maybe put it in the ceiling. Uh, we'll work on that later, like a power bank. But for now, it's working. All right, we're at 36. I wonder, can I do this? Is it moving any faster? I don't think so. Get everything to 32. I think that's moving pretty quick. Anywho, I'll come back once it's ready. Okay, we're in the final 4%. Or 2, 1. Booyah! That's our first one. So I found out all you gotta do is just put the, the speed upgrade on this. So we'll get started on the next one. And we got one more after that. Cool. Okay, so the third and final vibranium unobtainium one is there. Uh, our space is out, so there's three in between each of them. So we should be good eventually. Okay, so we're done with the, those two uh, hybrids. So this whole line here. We're going to do unobtainium and all the modium. Um, all the mo I wonder, can here no is it just a waste of items now what can I use this for can I get the stuff out of it oh man I was really hoping I could pull the un or the all the modium out of there because I think we're running yeah a little low hmm <laughs> That's funny. I might have to go get some from the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the mining dimension. So, but anyway, now we're moving on to this stuff. So this also requires 1 billion. So I'll be here for a while. All right. And the final unobtainium, all the modium one is completed. We're going to start the vibranium, all the modium. Um, but yeah, we're, we're looking good. We got three more to go and then we can throw an ax in there. Um, we should have one, hopefully, or we just have swords. We just have swords. That's fine. Um, but I did find a couple of, uh, I think a few blocks of all the modium. So we do have a little bit more. Um, but yeah, if you guys would let me know down in the comment sections, what we should do with all of this armor, or if there is a way to like break it down, that would be awesome. Otherwise we kind of just need to throw them away. We have too many. But yeah, we have well over, I think, a thousand chess pieces. So would be cool to use all of that, all of the modium. But if it's gone forever, it's gone forever, you know? Who cares? All right. And the final uh, all the modium vibranium ingot is complete. So that should mean all we got to do is put an axe there. Um, do I have an extra one? I do not. Okay, so we just got to make a simple one here. I believe it's like this. Yep, there we go. Okay. And we'll pull off the enchants of our axe here. Let's throw this. Oh, an arcane core. That's right. Yep, here we go. It's cool that we have these items now. So here, like so, and then we take not enough source nearby. Okay. We're gonna put this here. We're gonna make some more source. Um, 
So premium coal is a good way to do that. There we go. And I'm not sure if I go like this. So one of those. I didn't just waste a bunch of supremium. Okay, so let's throw this guy here, maybe. Oh, that was enough. It's going. That is such a cool animation. Oh my, all the modium alloy axe. Holy cow, dudes. That one was extremely expensive. Um, so that's one. We have two of the tools that we need. We're gonna move on to the shovel and then we'll oh we need a sword. Oh that's just an Aldemodium sword. Okay. That's right, the Paxel requires it. I don't know why I had a brain fart there. This requires that. Okay, so I'm gonna make another one of these. Um I'll actually make all four of or all three of these, the shovel, the pickaxe, and the, the sword. And we'll come back and we'll craft this all together. How much source did that use out of here? Half of it. Okay, so one, one of these guys is full. And real quick, how much did this use? I give it that 10. Okay, we're gonna be doing coal, uh, from now on we're not gonna be doing the full thing okay so i'm gonna go ahead and craft up all of these for the other tools and we'll be back soon all right so i kid you not about two hours has passed <laughs> uh yeah so i switched over to using the block forms of these i guess i need one more of these and i should have oh darn oh well that'll come in handy later we went through a lot of those i got some source charged up and now it's time to create these. Uh, I'm actually just gonna use my shovel for this because I don't have enough of the, all the modium for another one, so that's okay. Uh, one, two, three, and I figured I'd just do all of these with you on camera because I really like the animation and I want you guys to see it. So boom, that took 50 source, or 5,000 source I have uh, 20,000 sitting in here, so we have enough for all of the materials. Uh, the sword didn't cost us anything, which was nice. Booyah! And there's our alloy shovel. Oh, it kept the enchants. That's really cool. I didn't know it did that. Okay. So, all modium. I may not have... I think I only have one ingot left. Yeah, I may have to run to the other dimension real quick. Yeah, I need I need one more actually, um, which is a bummer, but yeah, it's, it'll be quick. Um, let's see. So I need unobtainium, uh, two more of those, and then vibranium, two more of those. Okay, so one, two, three here. And then one, two, three in here. I don't know if you can place these wherever. I'm not gonna really risk it. So I'm gonna put these where the crafting recipe says to put them. All right, we're gonna do the sword. Very good, now that source is gone and we can very easily just swap this here. And booyah. So there's our sword. That does 47 attack damage. That's pretty good. This does 51 attack damage. That's awesome. Wow, these are really powerful weapons. So the last thing we need is a pickaxe. And I think we are out of all the modium. However, there is one area that we may be able to recover. Um, I have seven nuggets here, and I did set up the seeds um, over here. OK, 
Okay, so these are the Aldemodium ones. So we can jump this up to the 64. Yep, that's fine. And where are you? Are you here? Oh, look at that. That gave us another ingot. <laughs> if we need any more passes, we're hosed. Okay, so we did get our we did get our ingot, which was good. Uh, where are you at? There you are. Perfect. Okay, so here, and then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom. Okay, and so in between here, one, two, three, and then between these two, and between these two, and let's see our pickaxe. Or this pickaxe and we're good yep they use 50 percent of the source so we're going to break this and we'll put the 100 percent one in there because next we're going to be combining them together oh yeah and there's the pickaxe so one two three done and all we got to do is put these together around the awakened draconium paxel and we're set so I want to, well, I, I don't think position really matters. Two, three, and four. And we're going to put the 100% source. We can put the 51. I don't think it's going to need it. If we click this, yep, we use 100%. We got 50 left. One of the coolest crafting animations I've ever seen. Huh. That's it. <laughs> the all the modium alloy paxel. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's anything higher. What are you? Jewel consumes water. Interesting. Put these jewels on it. Leopard mole from elemental craft. So if we put it in the element tool infusion, that infuses it with earth, which gives it a boost of power. It looks like we can eventually do that. Um, what can we put on here? Silk touch, fortune, and efficiency. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there it is. The all the modium alloy paxel. Let's check out all of the, um, the all the modium stuff here. Now yeah, we have all of these, so I can claim this. Charm of Diamond Sight, okay. We got Stack Upgrade Tier 2. We got Stack Upgrade Tier 2. Those are the same. All right, for the Shovel Epic Reward, Arcane Sands. For the Axe, we got an Emerald Furnace. For the Sword, Tempad. Ooh. What is that? Oh, P2P channel. Something to do with applied energistics. That's cool. And then for the pickaxe, we got an enchanted book, which was Fortune 3. That's not bad. And all the modium legendary reward. What is that? Thermo generator spirited. I think this generates. 500 FE per tick. That's not that good. But yeah, we got all of those. We have the all the modium Paxel. Let's let's do this here. We'll throw this guy in. Um, let's see. We need some pickaxes. We need some legend. Or yeah, the these guys. Okay. So you, you, you. And you, any good chance on here? Efficiency, we yeah, will take that off. Efficiency five, this is efficiency seven. So we'll leave that, efficiency seven. Maybe we can make efficiency eight. Okay, so we'll grab these for now. We can put these in here. We have some enchantment extractors. I'm gonna throw that there and we need to give it power. I can't type. Right, here we go we'll do this and I believe this will work yeah 
Okay. So we got to give it books. And this is going to pull the enchants off. So I don't really want to get like, so efficiency seven, this is what we're after here. Excavating is good. I'm breaking five. Ours is indestructible. We'll put this here. This is still a good tier level. So we can put it there. All right. And then efficiency here. Efficiency seven, efficiency seven, efficiency eight. Okay. We actually should be able to get that up to efficiency 10. There we go. And then I'm going to take the fortune five off of it. Wait, efficiency X, that's efficiency 10. Why didn't I just put this on? All right. And fortune five. Where'd you go? There you are. All right, excavating and breaking, unusing. None of those work, fortune three, we're already past that. So this thing is an absolute monster right now. Let's see what else can we put on it? Silk touch, fortune, that's it. Curse of vanishing. Um, so then the only other thing we can do is we're gonna grab some levels here. Just throw it in this. So here we go. Tool can place a torch for the cost of three durability. Block drops teleport to you. Uh, block, this tool breaks a five by three area. Uh, on block breaking, haste three, socketed three. Um, five by five area, haste two. Hmm. I don't want it to mine the five by five area. Five by three, five by five, five by three. I don't want it to mine that big of an area. I want it to be just a simple block this gives us 195 base experience plus 35 base mining speed plus 43 base mining speed is there like a dummy one i can throw in here to get this off We need some gem dust. Okay, we can do that. Some gems. Um, gem dust, look at that. There we go, we have it already. Boom, in there. This guy goes, so check it out. Doesn't mind the, the whole crazy area. Plus 43% mining speed. Um, this gives us haste when we break it, and then we can place a torch with it. So this thing is freaking nuts. I have a feeling it can instant mine this stuff. This is crazy. Okay, so if it mines that that fast, let us find out how fast it mines obsidian. Okay, so let's see here. Oh. That's fast. That is fast. That's how fast we mine obsidian. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this thing is awesome. It's the ultimate tool. So now what it means is our inventory has been freed up because that is a pickaxe, an ax, and a shovel all combined into one. So it frees up another slot of our inventory. So now we have more space for things. So yeah, look at that. We have uh, five slots to put different builds and we don't have to move our tools, which is really nice. So um, I'm gonna take all this experience here real quick. We can come down here. I've just been adding it here. 5,252. For some reason, once it gets to a certain point, it doesn't put it in there anymore, but you can always take it out. But yeah, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this is Super Turtle, and now we have the most powerful sword in the game and the most powerful mining tool in the game. So anyways, guys, I'll see you all later. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.